Hello and welcome to The Studio Demands It, an exercise in creative thinking where we will conceptualize, pitch, and craft a film or series based on the demands or stipulations from one of you listeners acting as a hypothetical Hollywood overlord. Overlord. As professional screenwriters ourselves and massive cinephiles, we talk movies all the time. All the time. And we'd like to believe that we can meet any demand thrown at us. We will be your screenwriters for this episode. I am TC DeWitt, and joining me, as always, is Jim Aguirre. Own tea, Brazilic. Oh, uh oh. Yeah. Is it, did you did you did you uh, uh, completely give me a, a red herring? And we're gonna yes, do a we're gonna not, do a water boy episode. A, oh this, God. This <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> guarantee is such a because sh- uh, that's the only Cajun related thing, thing ever. You could possibly yeah. think of. Not definitely not uh, Princess and the Frog. No. Nope. No. Nope. Not You're just not uh, not the lesser known movie Southern Comfort. No, no, not gonna be that. Um, it's just gonna be about Waterboy. Yeah. Reboot Waterboy as a mm-hmm. gritty horror movie. I That's, guarantee that is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guarantee I'm gonna kill you. I guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> that, That's like one of those fake movie trailers where you recut it yeah. and change the context of mm-hmm. it. Like, like um, you, me, and Dupree as a as a thriller or. Uh, 10 Things I Hate About Commandments. So you take the, the sure. Yule Brenner and Charlton Heston 10 Commandments and turn it into a, like a 90s teen movie. Mm-hmm. Or uh, uh, Game of Thrones as a as a TV sitcom. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Shine, which is taking <laughs> taking The Shining yeah. and making it like a Disney family yeah. film. <laughs> so, those yeah, so those water, are always great. So Waterboy as a horror. So who's the, is, is, is Bobby Dufresne, is he the, the bad guy? Is he the killer in it? Or is it Mama, is she the? Is she the? I think or is it, it like a psycho uh, situation where she doesn't exist, and he's? Oh, <laughs> that would be that could be fun. Um, M- mama doesn't like foosball, <laughs> but I don't care what Mama says. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> the water boy as psycho. Yes. I do not like that movie. Were, did, were we talking about this recently? No, that, I did not know that you did not like Psycho. No, I like. I don't oh. like Water Boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I like Psycho. Psycho is a classic. That is a f- legendary film. Okay. That's, that is one of those. I'll talk about Psycho for a second. That's one of those twists in cinema that's it's so like known now. But at the time, mm-hmm. to the hand to hand off the POV midway through the movie to to find oh, yeah. out like the, was, your main character it died. Yeah, like as is that did Barbarian evoke that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I didn't. I did not put that together till just now, as I said it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's one of my favorite movies of twenty twenty two. Was Barbarian it was for its. Yeah, I, I I agree. Yeah, but but if, if those listening, if you haven't seen Barbarian, I've already even said more than I should have. If you dig, I did movies, actually. I didn't think about any of the parallels of Barbarian to really any other movie, but now that I'm thinking of it, I think there's we could probably draw more parallels to Psycho. Yeah. Than than just that one. There's. There's oh my probably God. Yeah, a whole it's bunch. Like, I'm cycling through them right now mentally. I, yeah. I, I want to recommend it, so I don't want to delve into it too much more. But, huh. No, I don't like Waterboy. <laughs> okay. I think that I there's a, there's weird. Am Sandler, I think his he peaked with. Uh, like Little Nicky? No, I think that one's even worse. <laughs> 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 Slap you across the table. Um, do it. I like, I've, I like Adam Sandler quite a bit. He's, by all counts, he's an awesome guy. I like the movies where I can where I feel he's genuinely trying and a lot of his like Waterboy Lil Nicky it's just like stupid voice gimmicky sure. like it's just broad comedy and while I I don't know I am I for some reason have a chip on my shoulder like even people like Big Daddy I'm like I don't like Big Daddy I, I honestly I've never seen Big Daddy but I've never been motivated to nothing about it was like oh man this is gonna be amazing <laughs> I don't know um, because I said guarantee. I I actually did like Waterboy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but I I had a really good time with it. <laughs> I I think it's actually because of that movie. I actually did a a terrible fake Cajun accent for like a year. <laughs> I got obsessed with <laughs> with Cajun stuff. So mm-hmm. you you do guarantee? That's, don't right, you? that's right. I do guarantee. Basically, um, I just imitated the assistant coach yeah. from that movie. I thought it was hilarious that he was entirely indiscernible. You could not understand 
a word he said. Well, I guarantee that if you did that voice all the time, Mm -hmm. we'd probably hang out less. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Why don't you hang out with Jim so much? Uh, He's doing this thing. (laughs) He's got a thing going right now. (laughs) Really? How bad is it? Oh, it's uh, a guarantee. (laughs) I don't know why we got it. Well, again, it's because I said guarantee. We went on a whole jag about uh, Adam Sandler movies, but... um, this has literally nothing to do with today's episode. Oh, oh okay. At, at all. Sorry. Like not, even, not even in the ballpark. This all is right. so far beyond what the episode is today. So let's actually get into it. So, Jim, our amazing listeners have given us demands from studios literally all over the world. And you, listening right now, you can send us any demand you'd like, and we will have to meet those demands right here on the spot. And when we reach the end of the episode, if we've done our job, we will have pitched a full script and story meeting or even exceeding those demands. And when the end of the season comes, your demand could have helped us craft the script that will be greenlit by the fans for the finale. So thanks to everyone who has submitted. Keep them coming. And today's demand comes from Finland. Oh, <laughs> I actually had to nice. look. I had, so when I was preparing the demand, there was, it opened with, a, I was like, I don't even know what this word is. But this is from Clive from Finnish Him Studios. And nice. spelled Finnish Him. So I apologize for getting this pronoun- pronunciation incorrect. Before I go any further, I skimmed your demand just to figure out what the subject matter is. I know what this is. You listening know what this is. Jim does not know what this is. The only hint you have. Go ahead. What are your? Well, the only hint I have is because all this season we're trying to uh, uh, do a little bit of prep work and watch relevant movies before the demand. Mm -hmm. So we watched. I'm. I'm going to talk of the debacle. Okay. Go ahead. We yeah. watched Mortal Kombat. Play with these Legos over And here we, here. We, we recorded a commentary, and it was the best commentary we've ever recorded, <laughs> no, ever in no, the history no. of any recording. <laughs> and uh, something happened, and it was lost, lost to, it. to all of existence. Yeah. It was flatlined. Uh, uh, it was the greatest commentary in the world. Uh, and, and we did a tribute to yeah. it in some day. Yeah. And that tribute was we then watched Street Fighter, and we recorded that one. And that one is is available. That, to, that, oh, get the yeah. fu- <laughs> Jesus Christ! The cat just walked across right the computer. The, come here. We're just talking about losing technology, <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, let me prove it." Um, get your foot out of my face. Street Fighter commentary is available on our Patreon. Yeah. Um, yes, let me. We are still recording. Okay, I'm just gonna do something real quick. Okay, I just quickly saved. Cat. Cat. Quit being cat. So, yeah. so the Street Fighter commentary is available. It is on our Patreon, and that is the extent at which you know what this demand is Mm -hmm. and honestly i think anyone seen the title of this unless you read the description you're also going to not know what this so let's get to clive's demand here so uh tur 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 turducken no no turvisia turvisia finish for hello or greetings i believe hello or greetings there are many fighting video games in the world arguably the two most popular are mortal kombat and street fighter For decades, many have tried to make games similar to these, but none have reached the heights, though one could argue Smash Bros. and Marvel vs. Capcom have. Maybe it's gameplay that makes these the best of the best games, but for my money, what Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter have that no others do is the mythology, stories, characters, and ongoing canon that have shaped these franchises since their creation. And yet... Even with these extensive and glorious stories, the movies based on these two games have been bad to worse. Our studio believes that a fighting game with a truly, truly excellent story and cast of characters could equal a successful and possibly blockbuster game, and therefore a successful, if not bigger blockbuster, movie. Our studio has gotten access to a library of characters with deep histories and even deeper fandoms. Our demand to you is this. Take this library, pick as many playable characters as you want, craft a story in line with the style of Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, and write a story that could not only be an amazingly kick-ass game, but could be a gloriously adapted into film or franchise film. (laughs) And who loves franchises more than the mouse? Gentlemen... (laughs) The studio demands a Disney animated fighting tournament game, animated characters only, a full story like Justice League versus Mortal Kombat, bonus points for two endings. Onia, which I mean, which I take uh, translated and finished to mean good luck. Jim, 
Disney Combat. Okay. I'll do. I'll do it by God. <laughs> now I, uh, I love this. Okay. Now I, I I saw. So I was skimming it, and I'm like, okay, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, and then I saw Disney, and I'm like, Disney, and so I just saw enough to go, oh my God, we're doing this. <laughs> now a couple things to acknowledge before we start. Yes, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, there's Disney's Disney All Star Brawl, Disney Magical Brawl, and Mirrorverse, which is a mobile app game. There are Disney type fighting there's games. There's another new game. I'm Forgetting if it's a tabletop game or if it's a video game, Sorcerer's Arena is okay. another one. Yeah, so I, we are aware, or at least I, I've, I did a little bit of Googling around to see that, yes, there are, in fact, Disney-style fighting games that exist. The se- second thing to acknowledge is we've kind of done a similar thing to this in the past by pitting magic users against each other. Kind of. That's a story for another day. Yeah. We have to pick a handful of playable characters... To make a fighting game mm-hmm. with a story that could then be adapted into a film. Yes. Disney Combat Gym. <laughs> oh, there's a n- bunch of ways we could go. Um, I. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh okay, a bunch so, of ways. I don't know how much you were prepared for Street Because I was trying to curb you. You were like, we should watch all the Mortal Kombat movies. Yeah, we should watch yeah, all the Street Fighters. Like, oh, hey, there's there's multiple. If, if we're going to have to make uh, uh, anything related to these, like, there's there's more than just, just these. And then we were like, no, we don't we don't have I to. I was like, I was like, are we going to make a video game? <laughs> and and lo and behold, yes, we are. All right. All so right. thank you, Clive. This is exciting. Um, and i sorry if I butchered your finished translation here. Onia. Good luck. <laughs> um, okay, so the you're right. There's a bunch of ways to tackle this. I think who we pick will kind of form the game. I, I think the, the going Mortal Kombat over Street Fighter is the better way to go because Mortal Kombat has Outworld. It is supernatural. It draws from different dimensions. Uh, sort of. I think that's we don't. Uh, I I I think that uh, you're actually zooming in. Too much. Okay. Okay. Um, I actually think both of those are similar enough that we can just use the fighting game model. Great. Because Great. honestly, a lot of games follow that model. Uh, the the model of some big boss for some reason has has brought uh, uh, these people together, or sometimes it doesn't even bother with the brought them together. Mm-hmm. There's a narrative crafted. Uh, through the fights, but mm-hmm. uh, it always usually comes to the big boss for some reason. Yeah. yeah. Um, even like uh, Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive had had its day where it was kind of on top on top of the hill for like a month or two. Two big um, hills that put them there for. A uh, they had they had I think they had six I think they had no six no total I mean games. two big I know, hills. Yes, that... I know what you're saying. That game was more than just the the boob physics. <laughs> Sales don't reflect that, but it was. Um, it, uh, uh, there, there was a, a demon called a Tengu, mm-hmm. a, a, a Japanese uh, yokai mm-hmm. called a Tengu, and uh, a tournament happens, however often, and um, all of the characters were basically there, and they all had their own motivations as to why they were fighting. The one I know the most was the old man, because I thought it was hilarious <laughs> to beat up everyone with an old man and then win the <laughs> tournament, and my friends got really mad at me. And his whole plot was his granddaughter was sick, and if he got the nose of the Tengu, he could boil it and create a cure. Oh, good. There you go. <laughs> I, we, we had discussed Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, and the... I, I often will say, like, is it does it matter what the story is? But it does because I the I mean, it's been discussed just even in the demand here. Mm-hmm. Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat are the two most successful games. Yes, yeah. Smash Brothers I would certainly put up there as one of the most sure like newer most successful games. But Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, there's nothing above those two. When you think fighting game, you think of one or the, the other. Those are what comes. In, in my mind, that's what comes first. There are some people who are like, no, Smash Bros. Oh, but like, Soul Calibur. To me, that it's such... Clay Fighter. I don't think anyone puts those first. Um, <laughs> but uh, Smash Bros, to me, is... I, I guess it could be a fighting game, but it's a it's a subgenre of fighting games. I don't... I, a platformer fighter? That's not right. I, I need to do better research. <laughs> do better, Jim. Um, well, I, I don't know the, its specific classification. Yeah. But it's, it's, not, it's not your standard... Fighter, one one on one fighter. Right, because it's it's a it's a brawl. There's four people. Whatever. Mm-hmm. The, that's beside the point. The the two on two style of Street Fighter that led to Mortal Kombat and so on and so forth. Um, 
I do think it matters that those characters have complex stories and mythology that have existed for decades at this point and and have been developed over time. But the other half of the demand, though, wasn't just to make this game. It was to make it franchisable as movies? No, it was come up come up with a story, uh, a fighting game with a story that could be adapted into a successful film and or franchise. Mm, okay. So basically, what's the first Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat that we want to tell here sure. using animated Disney characters? I appreciate you, Clive, picking animated because that means we can't draw from Star Wars or Mortal Kombat or... Uh, any number of the, like, sub-owned uh, Disney properties. Uh, so I, I won't be so pedantic to say, oh, we can only draw from the canonical Disney Animation Studios library. We can certainly pull from Pixar. I think. What, what about the, the animated Star Wars stuff? Star Wars Visions? I, th- those can be unlockable characters. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> they own Marvel now. We can just kind of grab Capcom stuff. And, no. um, I think s- sticking with the traditionally animated sure. films and I, I would even go so far as to avoid going to like Phineas and Ferb like cartoons I would stay like the Rescue Rangers or Darkwing Duck or whatnot. I don't know I I'm, ma- I'm not I'm not going to go to those first right. but uh, I'm not going to say that that I won't mm-hmm. uh, that, that, that I would stay away from them um, uh, basically the, the first thought I had well the first thought I had was oh uh uh Mal, Mal, the 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 big demon from Fantasia, uh, Maleficent. Nope. Oh, um, uh, C- Cernabog. Cernabog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cernabog would be would be the big the 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 all the way big bad. Um, was my first thought, and then I, and then as I was like, well, is that really the way to go? And I and I thought about just going classic Disney, and you could you could actually just make Pete, uh, Pete the cat, the big bad guy, and then just have fighters that were. Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, Minnie. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, and, and you would have... Well, no, but it <laughs> would... it would. Pe- Peg Leg Pete is the... Yeah, you could do the, that. I, I don't think that's boring. And it would look... You could make it look like an old cartoon. So it would look like... Have you seen Cuphead? Oh, sure. Which is a bullet oh. hell side-scroller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could make a fighting game that looks like that animation, taking the old old Disney style. So it's Mickey, Donald, it, Goofy... I'm not saying that's what we should do. That 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 there you there's a mini fighting game right there. Is is Pete's the boss? You go and, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Minnie, Daisy, Pluto, Clarabelle, uh, uh, Horace, Wal, Wal, Walter, Waldo, Walter, the rabbit, uh, Oswald, Oswald. Okay. Uh, I knew there was a W in there. <laughs> well, Oswald predates all those characters. That's okay. That's yeah. the type of animation I'm talking about. Yeah, though. yeah. Uh, that, that's a fun. That's a fun concept of mm-hmm. a game right there. Because then you could do like classic cartoon uh, physics, where they're pulling mallets out of their mm-hmm. their belt buckles and yeah. and just that bouncing rubber ball cuphead sound. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's and, fun. And the voice act, the the, the voice sound, all, all the sounds for the game would be a lot of fun because it would sound like one of those cartoons. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that. While that is fun, and I actually, that sounds a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> that doesn't sound like enough of a premise for no. what could then be adapted into a film. Yeah, I I think, like if we're going, let's go start Renaissance era, where if you're looking at like okay, you got your Ariel and you got your Bell and. Um, uh, uh, Gaston, like if you're if you're kind of playing it, starting in that area of human characters who are thus fighter. Like Aladdin is a street fighting, like he's from the streets, so he mm-hmm. was he like a boxer kind of style, uh, some sort of. Uh, and then like obviously they come from different parts of the world and time, so like their fighting style. Give Mulan a katana, and now we have a character. Well, and that, that's that. why I was thinking if Cernabog. Uh, because uh, right, he's he's a big old demon. Yeah. You can you can ascribe any kind of space and time powers to him. That he draws um, the fighters to his mountain, essentially. Yeah, yeah something I like that. I don't mind that. That it's some sort of uh, demonic force that draws. So like, if if Cernabog, like, cracks open the mountain, and then I mean, sort of the Mirrorverse uh, Disney game. Looking at the premise of that, it's that. For every character that exists, there's a mirror version of them, yeah. and that mirror version of them has powers and whatnot, mm-hmm. and is is teaming up with characters from all across the multiverse to mm-hmm. then fight evil characters from the multiverse. Yeah, so and and that's essentially 
a, a similar route we're going to end up going. Yeah, yeah. Um, to, to bring as, all these characters together, yeah. that's really the only way to do it. Mm-hmm. No, that's not the only way to do it. That's just the quick. It's, yeah, the the, the, the quickest, the likeliest way. Um, Three, four, five, six. Right, seven. like I don't know the full plot of um, uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, yeah. Kingdom Hearts is similar, where you're traveling the the Disney and at once upon a time the Final Fantasy multiverse, mm-hmm. and just picking up friends along the way to stop the darkness. Uh, which from wait the no, dark the darkness from the never ending story that's the nothing that's the nothing oh so you mean the band I do mean the band okay yeah. it's like the band the band's out there like do I believe in a thing called love and they're like pew 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 we don't <laughs> <laughs> um, having Cernobog be the like the the behemoth that unlocks this reality that draws these characters to him to to fight their way to the top like that's that's a pretty like that's a good starting point. Yeah, that's 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 my first. That's the the, the that's where my, my first instinct takes me to that being our our, our uh, final boss, final boss, our, our, our M Bison. Right. Um, if we're going Street Fighter or Shang Tsung was yeah. the final boss in the first Mortal Kombat. Yeah. And Goro yeah. was the the mini boss. He was, yeah, he's the mini boss. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I think the default for Disney villaindom that. Is Maleficent. She is the big villain at the end of Kingdom Hearts. Like she's sort of the biggest of bad villainesses sure. in, in the library. Oh, then I definitely don't want to. I also don't want to copy yes. anything another Disney. I like that game you went, has done. Yeah, and I like that you went with Cernabog as as the villain as opposed to the standard Maleficent. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love Maleficent. I think she is one of the all time great animated villains. Um, I like the animated version of her. I have a chip on my shoulder for the live action version of her. Um, so that being said, uh, uh, so so the, the the plot, I I I, I guess I'm I'm like I'm wanting to jump to so who are the fighters? But uh, until we have the story mm-hmm. definitely down, that feels incorrect. Um, and I don't just want a hand wave saying Cernabog's demon and he does it because he's bad. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, mini boss. <laughs> that there's a a villain or a collective of villains that unleash him. So, like, Hades from Hercules would be someone evil enough to do something like this. Uh, I, I am... But, well, so ultimately, we uh, it still comes to motivation. Right. Why, why are they doing it? If Cernobog isn't doing it, it directly himself, he's somehow being controlled by these other people you need to take out before taking him out? Like the mini-boss. Why? Like, who is, who is the... If Cernobog is the big fan... I'm, I'm more looking for motivation. Oh. Motivation for why this is all happening. Evil... Yeah, maybe, maybe they tried to. Whoever our villain or villains are, they tried to harness the power of Cernobog. Like, let's say Cernobog in in the Fantasia mythology, he appears for one night period once a ye- once a year, where he releases all the demons of hell, and they they play in the landscape. And as the sun rises, he retreats back into the mountain until the following year. Uh, if, oh, that's actually a really good plot for a beat em up. Yeah, <laughs> just fight, fight your way to the top. Yeah, fight, fight all of his, all the un- unnamed de- demon villains, the skeletons and the yeah. banshees and the the the, the undead mm-hmm. flying through the the countryside surrounding Cernabog's mountain. So, let's say he has an annual unleashing, and someone is going to try to harness his power, but then because they do this, Cernabog doesn't go back to sleep. So like the, the, the sun should rise and Cernabog should go to sleep, but Cernabog does not, and it's just amassing power and slowly getting more and more powerful and must thus must be defeated. Well, then actually what I would say instead of that, I don't think someone... Sh- I shouldn't... I don't think there should be someone else responsible for this happening. It's, it's Cernabog. Okay. Cernabog is okay. doing this. And... Um, at the heart of of our story here is oh, there's the legend tells of of uh, Cernabog's brooch, I, like <laughs> I, uh, Cernabog's MacGuffin, right? Okay. Whatever that is, uh, if you can get a hold of Cernabog's MacGuffin, mm-hmm. um, you would get you would have sort of uh, this this ultimate power. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so that's going to motivate uh, our characters. Not everyone necessarily wants that power. I think half of our characters want to stop that power from falling into the wrong hands. Okay, like get get the the MacGuffin of Cernabog to send him back. It's the it's the sure. genie in the bottle essentially. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, actually, in a sense, Cernobog could, you could almost have it be evil genie from Aladdin when Jafar sure. basically makes genie his minion. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's, a, there's a fun level for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so, so sort of have two, two, two uh, character motivations. Our hero, everyone's trying to get the, the prize. Mm-hmm. Half of them are trying to get it to contain the power, and the other half are trying to get it to have the power. Yeah. So then we have two. So like the original. Well, and so the reason I uh, the reason I said that is because then we can go and pick pairings. Uh, I I figure oh, I, see. I figure I see. twelve characters. Sure. Six good, six bad. Um, my first thought was to to do pairings, right? So if it's Gaston, it'd be Beast. Mm-hmm. But we don't have to do it that way. Uh, the, they could be countered by other heroes and or villains. Right. So n- if if uh, right. So you're not saying like. Six movies, so therefore, twelve characters. Oh no! I'm sorry. I wasn't even thinking about movies. I was thinking about uh, uh, just the video game. Right. No. 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 Oh. I'm saying like <laughs> you say Gaston and Beast. That's two of the twelve. Then that means we only have. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Uh, and I. I. It doesn't. Yeah. It, it doesn't have it to, to be, be that way. way. Yeah. Because if we're only going to fill ten to twelve slots, and we're going to one for one, good guy, bad guy, then we're only drawing from from six six yeah. movies. Yeah. The, the original Mortal Kombat had six playable characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven ki- playable characters. Well, so here's the thing. Uh, we're Disney, or at least we're playing around with Disney money. Mm-hmm. And we're, pl- we're also building this in a world where those exist. So just making a game that started the way those started, uh, I don't think is the right way to go. Sure, sure. We need to start with a, uh, a, a corral of characters that makes you want to play this game a lot yeah <laughs> so six it's uh, six is not enough no no eight no, no. ten I'd, i think 12 12 is a good starting number and having those and unlockables that's yeah we haven't even talked about unlockables or uh it, boss characters that would then also likely be unlockable mm-hmm. like having a a darth vader as a oh mi- sure like a mini fight where mm-hmm. he's not a playable character you just have to fight Darth Vader at some point mm-hmm. red lightsaber force choking force lightning sure. Darth Vader yeah uh, so but that's 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 uh, that's actually not what we should be looking at we should be looking at the animated library of characters so something to to ask ourselves here do we want to pick bankable characters or do we want to pick characters that we want to play with both well the reason i ask is like oh i'd love to see like uh, uh, the horned king from black cauldron uh, i see what you're saying yeah that's the uh, uh, i would counter i, w- I would negotiate mm-hmm. uh not going with uh, uh the that the the horned king and instead going with uh what, w- what was his name the little furry guy <laughs> fergie <laughs> fergie that was the memorable character of that movie but the is, Horn King was super scary. Yeah. But he he was one dimensional and he showed up for a very small part of the movie. A <laughs> Ger- scary part. Gurgi. Small. Gurgi. So I just wanted to correct myself. Gurgi. Um, yes, but I use that as an example of a a marketing team crafting a game like this mm-hmm. wouldn't pick those characters. They'd pick Elsa. They would pick Mo- Moana. And I'm not saying I don't want to pick characters from those sure. movies. It's just the difference between should we only pick the top well, tier I, bankable characters now. Or I have a plan. You have a plan? Okay. Uh, the plan, and, and the thing is, you know enough of the Disney library that you can uh, uh, put this plan into action. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> well, perfect team right here. Basically, we're going to pick six eras of Disney. Ah, and we'll choose two okay. characters from each, sort of. Some might cheat. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, I want to put Mickey in there. And Mickey, standard Mickey, I think would be from... The uh, the um, the 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 tailor the 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 seven giants the the ta- the tailor Mickey oh the 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 brave little tailor yeah that would be sort of the standard Mickey but he would have moves he would have special moves that transform him into other Mickeys to do special things so like sorcerer's apprentice or if, if not the sorcerer's apprentice actually being actually that might be a better standard Mickey mm-hmm. and then from there whatever spell he does. Um, he would transform, like, he'd pull out a pair of scissors and uh, do a, a cool tailor move. I like um, that. Scissors. Like he that. could have the hats, like, to, mm-hmm. to draw from his magic. 
um, apprentice hats. Or I've never. No, actually, I think Mickey should be as default Mickey as we can, and that's just the Mickey in the red shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Mickey, and then from there, Epic Mickey, if you will, to reference a different game. <laughs> now, Epic Mickey, uh, uh, I I do see the, the the one where he has the the peach colored face and the, the actual pupils. Okay. Uh, so not quite Epic Mickey. Epic Mickey was a little older. That was the practically black and white Mickey. You're yeah. t- you're talking. Yeah. Yes, you said whites of the eyes. Yeah. That so Sorcerer's Apprentice era Mickey. Yeah. Which but, is still but he 50s. Yeah. I, I don't know why like he wouldn't yeah, that so that era he wouldn't start in the sorcerer's outfit. 40s, 40s. The the hat would be one of his moves. Mm-hmm. Um but then he would train he could transform with different moves into other Mickeys. And I like that Mickey being our first character here to draw fully from cartoon logic, mm-hmm. cartoon physics, that he is pulling mallets out, that he's using the stand, like the old school cartoon tricks, mm-hmm. bag of tricks here, as opposed to like if we were to use Moana as an example, she would be fighting with her st- with the staff of of mm-hmm. Maui and uh, using much more, I don't know, logic to her existence. Sure, I think having Mickey as our one of our playable characters and he's very cartoony. Mm-hmm. I like that. Okay. Imagining, like, if this were, then go from game to film, that Mickey wouldn't be, like, the leader here or, like, the point man. He'd be much more like Spider Pig, or not Spider Pig, um, Spider Ham from Into the Spider Verse. Oh, I think you're imagining more cartoony than I am. I'm that, that's okay. I actually think he probably would be the Baron Munchausen, uh, of, he would be the leader of, of the team. Okay. He, would, he he just has a, diver, a diverse set of skills, a particular um, set of skills. But, <laughs> but so uh, Liam Neeson uh, is voicing but Mickey. All, Got all, it. Got all it. of all of the people he recruits are experts at what they do. Okay. Okay. Well, you since you drew your drawing from the 1940s for... to 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 equate to another game, uh, he is he is our Mario. He is our or, or actually let's keep it in fighting games. He's our Ryu. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Our, and what I mean by that, he's he's the standard fighter, the, right? He's, oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he, Baseline. Uh, yeah. Got it. He has, he has good stats and everything. He's he's not he, People who know Street Fighter might might be saying, that's not Ryu, <laughs> but that's how I know Ryu to be. Ryu is the Mario of Street Fighter. Uh, Liu Kang? The all-around best character, yes. Liu Kang, okay. Um, okay, so what you said draw from like the, the other eras here. What do you? What else do you have in mind? Who else do you want to pull from? Um, well, it depends on uh, whether what other, what era do you want to jump to. You you know the eras better. You well, can, you can name them. Sure. Well, I, I'd, I'd probably just end up going by decade. Well, you, and that's that's relatively the right way to go. If we're gonna go like golden era, uh, dark ages, renaissance, um, second dark age, second renaissance. So mm-hmm. like second renaissance is the newest stuff. So like Moana, um, Rapunzel. Elsa, like those are the the more modern era princesses, and definitely like massive success, like mm-hmm. hugely, hugely popular. Uh, I'm not saying they think people don't know. Yeah. Um, if we have Elsa, ice powers, like that's that's an yep. easy one. If yeah. we go Rapunzel, then we're dealing with a frying pan and magic hair. If we're doing, you, I mean, yeah, I, I know you you said it like, ma, what does that do? You no, can no, no. Do, I you, I you would do a crazy amount of cool moves. Yeah, I would much. Like, I didn't mean to make it like sound basically like basically every move Dalsim does, you can do with those with, two. Yeah, those, those two bits. Dude, I love Tangle. It's one of my all-time favorites. Okay. Like, I'm, I didn't even need to make it sound yeah. disparaging. Um, if we go Moana, then I would give her, like, Maui as her sort of familiar or something. So from this this latest era, I feel, I feel like not doing Elsa. I agree. Would be, uh, uh the mistake. wrong the wrong move. Yeah, she's the like the yeah. biggest success yeah. story. Like, and you know, having a, a Sub Zero type character. That's that's good, yeah. Like, sure. She has ice powers. Like how I can't go wrong there. Now, how far? How th- this era? How far back does this era go? Does it cover uh, Princess and the Frog? Princess and the Frog. Yeah, um, that's that's on the line. So like, Princess and the Frog is just coming out of the Second Dark Age into the New Renaissance. Tangled would be like the definitive New Renaissance beginning film because it was fiftieth film it was a huge success wreck it ralph came right after that it was like that launched it okay. into frozen territory well wreck it ralph i count princess and the frog in the second renaissance so the reason i was uh, uh asking about that mm-hmm. uh, uh is because as you said i don't know if you 
care to expound on that now at all. Uh, uh, the the uh, the lack of villains sure. in Disney properties now. I I think that they're Disney's done a, a admirable job in they have stopped blanketing things as as easy as black and white. The villains aren't just villains. There's an explanation for why they are villainous, mm-hmm. and and usually they are redeemable reasons. Stuff something like Encanto. Actually, we could do a whole game out of just Encanto because. Everyone in that movie has superpowers. Sure, it is the X Men of the Disney Animation <laughs> Library. That's that is a that is the uh, downloadable mini. Like all those characters have superpowers, so like you could do a whole thing. But that's beside the point. With the villain situation, that like the it's all antagonists and less villains have existed mm-hmm. in the modern library of, of films. Doctor Facilier from uh, from Princess and the Frog. He's literally a voodoo master, and he's yeah. drawn on the powers of hell. Yeah, to, that, and, and that's why I was kind of going back that far to have a counterpart to Elsa. Um, I, oh, I, I, make, making yeah. him, make, oh, yeah. uh, making him oh, the, the counterpart. Yeah, and he's he's an opportunist. I like that. Dr. Facilia is um, Dr. Facilia. I'm actually taking notes, so I don't think I've ever taken like avid notes <laughs> while we've recorded before, other than writing down all the speed titles. Yeah. <laughs> um, Princess and the Frog. So now we got like voodoo magic. That's pretty cool. Sure, yeah. Dr. Facilier. Yeah, and Keith David doing the voice, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, mm-hmm. Dr. So the, the, the 90s Disney movies actually have just an embarrassment of riches of characters to call upon? Yeah, I, I had suggested Aladdin as sort of like a street-level mm-hmm. brawler sure. type character that he's... No magic. I mean, maybe you would have like a familiar and, and being able to call upon genie for something or whatnot. I actually can think of lots of super cool special moves uh, that Aladdin would be able to do uh, beyond just his uh, being an agile character who can who can flip, He's like, flip and throw a lot of attacks. He could be he, like a Spider-Man type. Yeah. To drop from like Marvel and Capcom. But like how much fun would it be? His special move is he pulls out the lamp, Genie pops out, and uh, a herd of elephants goes running across the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and and for game rules, you can only do it three times. You can only use Genie three what times. I was, what I was <laughs> thinking about uh, uh, that is rather than... Uh, Rather than have it be like the way to limit it, so technically, if you had a way around it, you could do it. Is every time you you use one of the genie powers, mm-hmm. um, it takes a third of your life. Oh, interesting. Okay, I don't mind that. Um, but that so you had mentioned Beast from this era. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we have like villains like Ursula and Jafar, who are who mm-hmm. are magic users. Pretty most, pretty much all the villains that we are going to name are all magic users in one way or another. Gaston's not. True. Oh, yeah. Having a... Uh, he'd be like... Remember Stryker from Mortal Kombat 2? He's like the SWAT guy. <laughs> he, he's like a SWAT guy. He has okay. like a baton and a gun. Nice. <laughs> so that'd be like Gaston is like got a gun. <laughs> sure. And he's super buff. Like, mm-hmm. uh, um, I'm not saying... I mean, I, I don't mind Gaston being being the option here, but uh, of that era, you're right, there are other... Uh, an embarrassment of riches to draw from. Because um, uh, even Scar, right? Uh, uh, pe- uh, characters from the Lion King don't necessarily have magic abilities, mm-hmm. but you can still do lots of cool things with an animal character. True, I believe Scar is one of those characters in Mirrorverse that, in one of the ads, they have him teamed up with uh, Rapunzel. Nice. Um, it's a mobile game, so the the ads for it look super awesome. But then when you play it, it's just a card game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Not that it's a. From sure. what I see, yeah. it still looks cool, but it's not. They, they they drew you in with a neat animation, but yeah. it's just cards. It's just mostly like a, yeah. a deck builder game. So. Um, Gaston, guns, knives, and muscles. <laughs> um, who else from that? Era? Like I like Ariel. I think she's great. I like Belle, but imagining them brawling, they don't like without no. Uh, as, as far as princess, right? Like that's how Mirrorverse gets around it. Mirrorverse made Belle uh, like like this this badass hunter. Yeah, she's like a. a well, witch I thought hunter. she had like a crossbow. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. like a she's a um, Hansel and Gretel witch hunter type. Yeah. yeah. Um, but from that era, the the one that I uh, the the one princess that I can see actually having a badass character would be Jasmine, actually. Okay. Yeah, she got a freaking tiger. She got, uh, She'd know some sort of like. Fighting. She herself can can could fight. 
Um, I'm gonna th- yeah. I'll, th- I'll throw Jasmine down. I mean, even though I, I'm still gonna go with Aladdin as you want, well. You want to do Aladdin? Al- Aladdin and Gaston. <laughs> That's right. I'll keep. I'll keep. Like okay. We can. I'll get them out here as options, and then and then play with them after the fact. Um, from the '80s. Uh, so now Mer- Merlin. Oh okay. I think. Merlin right. would be cool. Uh, okay, so the the Dark Age, not necessarily the '80s, because oh. Merlin's gonna be from the '60s. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Why did I think that that I thought Sword in the Stone was from the? No, the eighties is the dark age the where you're gonna you're gonna be dealing. It's like it's sixty. Well, never mind. Sixty three okay. is Sword in wow. the Stone. Eighties, you're gonna have your uh, it's a great no mouse idea. detective, Oliver and Company, um, Black Cauldron. This 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 is like the. But the, we, we don't again. We don't have to go by decade. Sure, but I think it would be interesting to go towards the like. So pre Renaissance, you're looking at Fox and the Hound, Rescuers, Jungle Book, Jungle Book, Jungle Book. There you go. Maybe maybe instead of Aladdin, it could be Mowgli to get my brawler. Or if you want to, uh, this is another thing we have to watch out for: just having nothing but dudes. <laughs> uh, Sleeping Beauty would have been the '60s. Uh, yeah, Jungle Book's even '67. But so like the '80s is it's just a dry spell. There's like a very the Rescuers, Fox and the Hound. That's it. <laughs> like. There's your there's your '80s era. Hmm. Okay. Well, that just that makes room to go to another decade. Huh. That's okay. I'm actually interested here that I'm I'm just whipped up the li- Wait, Wikipedia here. When did Robin Hood come out? Sixty uh, seventy one. I always so. thought that was a okay. Little John Robin Hood seventy three would be Robin Hood. Um. You know, funny enough, there are animated characters that aren't part of the animated library, like Pete's Dragon is animated. Hmm. Or like the penguins from sure. Mary Poppins. <laughs> uh, oh, I, Aladdin gets a lamp, uh, gets the the rug too. Actually, I like Mowgli as as an option because then all of his power moves, all of his special moves, would be Baloo or uh, oh, drawn on Bagheera. Uh, yeah, uh, um, uh, the the wolves, uh, uh, King uh, Louis, King Louis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, animal spirits. That's good. I like that. So he he might be the brawler that Aladdin, like I imag- imagine Aladdin. Well, Aladdin comes with the like having the lamp and having having well having the carpet. Al- Aladdin has the yeah the lamp the carpet Apu. Uh, but we could give all that to Jasmine. Sure. So then Mowgli as our kind of street brawler, <laughs> monkey fight like monkey style fighting, uh, monkey king style fighting kung fu. I know that he's. I'm, don't no, yeah, I, 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 I think uh, uh, you're 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 thinking of like how the characters animated and the yeah, way they yeah, move yeah. on the screen. Yeah. Um, I actually think mechanically, I think Jasmine would still move like that. Okay. Uh, right, like doing a double jump would be she jumps and then the carpet comes in and, and flings her up even higher. Mm-hmm. Um. Stuff like that. Okay. Mowgli, Mowgli, I I see. He he has a he has a little bit, but a, a a lot of his stuff is is animals coming out to help him out, help him Spirit out animals. as as his as his attacks. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so seventies era. Oh, funny enough, I'm thinking like another character instead of Mowgli, maybe like skins, unlockable skins. Tarzan isn't too far off from oh. what Mowgli would be like physically. Yes, very different, but physics-wise, game physics, Tarzan might be similar to Mowgli. Maybe I guess Tarzan would fight no. more, more ape style, like a gorilla. Um. So, uh, da, da, da. you're ba- basically if if I understand the way you're thinking of it, you're thinking of Spider Man. From yes. Marvel vs. Capcom, yes, yeah. and the way like his his animations look and move, and the way he flips around, right? That's yes. that's like an that's, agile character. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, the ver- his version of him, if if I'm remembering it right, he's actually like Chun Li. Oh, so those okay. those are similar characters. Okay. They're 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 characters that move, uh, or Vega even. Mm, they're mm-hmm. they're characters that uh, uh, move fast, and. Uh, 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 don't they? They can hit hard. They have heavy hits, but they're more about the medium and light hits and and moving, mm-hmm. jumping around. They're 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 about the the up the upper half 
uh, of the the game. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's actually true for Spider Man. So but, I, I but think Mowgli is the, the right the way jumping to go. kind of stuff. I, I think Mowgli. I think uh, fighting wise, I think he moves. He's going to move a lot. In my mind, he's moving a lot slower than how you're thinking. I'm like, I see what you're saying with Aladdin in Tarzan, um, uh, animating, uh, animating like that, and and getting uh, just really looking looking agile, looking mm-hmm. more agile. I don't think Mowgli would uh, uh, be as agile. Um, I think. Uh, uh, are you familiar at all with the game Darkstalkers? Darkstalkers. <laughs> yes, I can picture the blue-haired girl with the wings in the big mountains. Um, <laughs> so that's that's Morrigan. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's Morrigan, not Lilith. Lilith doesn't have a couple of those features. <laughs> um, so there's a character in that series called uh, BB Hood. She's she's uh, or it's it's baby bonnie baby bonnie hood baby bonnet hood mm-hmm. uh, and she's the the little red riding hood type character. Oh, she's in Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, is she? Yeah. Okay. I can picture her. She has a little basket and then yeah, she pulls and, like and machine guns. Yeah, she out pulls of it. machine guns and her, <laughs> one of her special moves is she calls in reinforcements. These giant guys with these muskets. And, yes. Yes. Um, that is how Mowgli would behave. Okay. So not very agile, but uh, has all of these special maneuvers that they can call upon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, if we're going, let's go back further. So like Black Cauldron era, uh, the, we need the poot Robin Hood, um, imagining, imagining Robin as a playable character. Sure. That he's got his bow and arrow mm-hmm. and his sword. Uh, can call upon like his merry men to help him it, out. Here's a, 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 a it, it's not necessarily moving the way uh, you suggested, but another very agile character, a, a, a very upper half uh, uh, character, would be Peter Pan. Oh yeah, yeah, and um, Captain Hook. Like we've been talking heroes and villains here, but um, having oh, you had mentioned Lion King. Shere Khan is a tiger like villain that might make a good counterpoint part to Mowgli. Sure. Unless we make Shere Khan a, a, a power that Mowgli can call upon. Um, but I, that's beside the point. Peter Pan yeah. as a playable character gets you... So, like, Robin Hood, I suggested arrows and swords. Robin Hood, I'm sorry, uh, Peter Pan, now you got f- flights and also a sword or a dagger, mm-hmm. I suppose. Uh, and using Tinkerbell as a... Or actually, can a fighting game work with Tinkerbell as a playable character? She's so tiny. I, n- no, no. I th- I think it, to keep her to keep her that size, uh, I don't think would work. Okay, you'd need to do something to uh, suggest a larger footprint. Got it. Got it. Like you, yeah, it wouldn't make sense like gameplay wise to have this tiny little thing. But if she's called upon as a weapon, in yeah, Peter's arsenal, yeah. Captain Hook, your mean one. Um, actually, I think. Uh, uh, to counter uh, uh, for for the, that that '90s era, mm-hmm. I think uh, b- because you're right. Let's let's uh, let's get a little more um, variety in there. Mm-hmm. Ursula, uh, Ursula is the villain instead of Gaston. Yeah, I hate to see Gaston go because I like the idea of like. But I Hulk. love watching him walk away. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> um, Ursula. Actually, Ursula animated wise, I keep pick. All I'm keep picturing is the Capcom style of animation that we sure. see. Her tentacles mm-hmm. and just like have giving her uh, the trident that she steals from. Oh, Pink sure. Trident. Yeah. So she's just blasting with that and just like whoosh, like each one of her. Um, Actually, I, you know what? I I don't. I, we could we could go into in, into that where she has the trident, uh, but I, I actually even like the idea of of her two eels, oh, basically yeah. like coiled around her. Flats and she uses Jetsum those like as, as uh, distance attacks. Yeah, so in, but yeah. I see her moving like Zangief. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like Gorath from he's the. He, I don't I don't know how he plays. He he's like a tentacle yeah, eye yeah, yeah. monster, right? So he like snaps yeah. his tentacles oh, okay. I think so he's a bit of a like he's a big character but he's a distance character or oh, no, he's okay. not just he's whatever middle range I suppose okay but yeah Ursula as Ursula because uh, that way she like moves slow and mm-hmm. if she gets a hold of you she's gonna do all kinds of <laughs> grapple <laughs> smash yeah, yeah. maneuvers on you spinning like spinning mm-hmm. her like tentacles around sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> um 
let's see, moving back to the 60s era, uh, Sleeping Beauty. I, I do want to avoid using Maleficent. She's such a yeah. gimme that I don't want to use her. Um, 101 Dalmatians, Lady and the Tramp, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland. Here we go. Alice. Alice has a character to, to draw upon the powers of Wonderland. She, But she doesn't have those powers. I'm contriving her. You're, the, well, that, that's, that's Sorcerer's Arena. Mm, okay. So uh, uh, I would think, so as far as, Al, uh, as, far as Alice in Wonderland goes, to, to introduce Alice, Alice being one, trying to be a guardian of good and I must stop the demon from having its demon power, mm-hmm. what could she call upon? I think she would be able to have pockets of treats and the Cheshire Cat. Could she? How about this for her story, though? She thinks she's having another dream, so she's not. She's just like, it's fine if I die, I'll just wake up. Like she's just she, like in conversing with her, she just thinks she's having another dream. Like hey, this is really happening. <laughs> I'm just a man. I'm just dreaming you saying that. So she's sort of just sure like delusional. Like hee hee. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I'm, I'll sure I'll fight. If I lose, it's fine. I'll wake up. Ah, <sighs> she was not really a fighter though. Like. Her whole motivation was I just want witnessing run. things and running away. <laughs> the Queen of Hearts would be fun. The Queen of Hearts is she would have she would have a, 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 a flamingo club. <laughs> she can call uh, upon the call the, upon the, the, the deck the of cards. cards. The king mm-hmm. could come in and like she's actually a better okay Queen of Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> and if she blows her top, just like ah! yeah, <laughs> flamingo. King of Hearts, um, the cards, and she could have the Cheshire Cat as well. Okay. Yeah. As opposed to Alice having the Queen of Hearts. Mm-hmm. That's fun. <laughs> um, and then, then we're like in the, the golden era here. So we have like, oh, uh, well, Cinderella. Um, there's the, uh, the Blue Fairy, Fairy Godmother, sorry. Uh, sure. And then Pinocchio, Dumbo. And, and we pulled Cernabog from Fantasia. So te- technically, I think Mickey overlaps with that because he sor- got Sorcerer sure. Apprentice powers. Yeah. Uh, and then Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. We have Evil Queen, um, Snow Snow herself, the, the Seven Dwarfs. The Seven Dwarfs as an individual a playable character. playable unit? <laughs> That's kind of could, a fun idea. Could be fun. That's just the seven of them all at once? Mm, sort of. Or you, you, you go with... Uh, you They start... You, uh, yeah, you see the what the three of them stacked up under Dopey's coat, <laughs> yeah. and then and then they like this? they run in to help out with different things, or they drop in. How about pop, pop out of different places? How about they have the seven of them have built some sort of steampunk robotic thing that all seven are operating at the same time. I I, I want to stick with with what exists in the the properties. Okay, okay. so then they have um, they have pickaxes. Yeah. That they can swing and fight with. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Sneezy is probably the most powerful of them because he's got <laughs> super sneeze powers. Sure. <laughs> uh, 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 and and maybe what what else is there? Maybe the the dwarves isn't the best way to go. Um, I don't know. Actually, it's think, let's t- let's try that for a second. The, imagining that Sneezy is the playable character, and that he can draw from the seven others for like some ability. But of all the seven dwarfs, Sneezy because he can sneeze? Like, is that, is that kind of dumb? I think mean, it's kind of dumb. I take it back. A, a little bit. That's kind of dumb. <laughs> like, the idea of all seven as one playable character, I think, is fun. Yeah. Uh, but I really like uh, uh, non-traditional kind of <laughs> fighter characters. There's the little Lego guy in Marvel vs. Capcom that, like... That is from uh, Mega Man. It's oh. from Mega Man Legends. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's right. Uh, basically, Mega Man had a uh, uh, RPG game come out in the l- very late '90s, 2000s. Okay, Sur- um, and Servbots. Yeah, that's what that's for. Yeah, and yeah. I guess that the 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 Lego looking guy was sort of a, a, a an evolution of the the earlier little black spheres wearing hard hats. Uh, that appeared through the other earlier Mega Man games. Mm, okay, okay. Um, that's that's sort of off off the market. Or do do those characters like run in to, to help with you, stuff? One of the the there's like a stream of them that all just come running nice. by as one of the yeah. power ups. Okay, let's let's keep let's keep down this. The idea of seven playable characters as one character. That's all seven dwarfs are a playable entity. 
Yeah. I suppose it's not our responsibility to think of the game mechanics aspect of this. And I mean, if something comes to mind, uh, totally. But like, um, yeah, no, it's it's not like um, so like. Uh, there's a move in Darkstalkers. I'm very familiar with Darkstalkers, so I'm okay. probably going to reference it a lot. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a character named uh, Lord Raptor, mm-hmm. and he's a um, he's a British punk zombie. Um, and one of his moves, though, is it, he. Uh, my favorite moves from him were always very low attacks, and one of his is you crouch and you do a hand attack, uh-huh. and um, his claws shoot out further away from himself. They shoot out of the ground to stab a character. Mm-hmm. I bring this up because... Uh, the dwarves could do something similar where you do a, a, a crouch maneuver and then you do an attack and the uh, one dwarf like pops out of the ground like they mine <laughs> out of the ground <laughs> and then yeah. they like they they uh, they do a, like a bunch of hit attacks on okay. their opponent somewhere I, I like this but let me suggest this what if Snow White is the fighter but she never lays hands so she can sing to the animals and whatnot and be like ah! and like ant- birds could come swooping and peck but all of her texts, she's a distance fighter, and, and she just sends in the dwarves, like, mining so, up from underneath her. Kind, kind of like Mowgli? Yeah, yeah. Sim- okay. Similar to Mowgli, where she's so, calling upon So, I've been resisting it. Mm-hmm. Um, you can convince me otherwise. I was trying to stay away from the characters that seem more passive and less likely to fight, or, like, that are motivated to stop evil. Okay, okay. Um, so whereas the dwarves would be motivated to fight, just we actually see them rise mm-hmm. the grumpy in the lead to take on the yeah. queen after she's threatened and Snow White. I, I feel bad because that what that does is it sidelines a number of the princesses. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm willing to be convinced to to put them in there, and that that's a pretty decent uh, uh, your your Snow White argument is is a decent uh, argument. A way to make her like she she isn't fighting; she is like like. Calling upon uh, 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 her animal friends. Yeah. But even those birds and squirrels and deer, <laughs> they also just kind of ran away from the witch. Not the not the dwarves, though. She's just like, dwarves, go! No, not the dwarves. Dwarves, go! Yes. Dwarves, go! <laughs> okay. While she takes it on the chin. How about this? Princess Eloi from, Elon Wai from Black Cauldron is a very, she's a, a, a princess character with agency. Oh, sure. actually, Kida from... Lost City, uh, Atlantis as well is also a very active okay. fighting princess. Mm-hmm. I pick Elon Y because she's the one everyone forgets that sure. she's literally a princess. Um, I bumped my mic. Uh, oh, well, I, I guess because uh, then the she thing can... is, so uh, like we can name a bunch of others. Mulan, Mulan is a definitely oh, a fighter. Heck yeah! Um, a lot of the more modern princesses would be fighters, right? Like Moana is a fighter. Uh, uh, Rapunzel is a fighter mm-hmm. um it just it just sort of loads the modern contemporary end so what more well, so well I'm which all, which uh, could be okay well that's why i say something like elon why she comes from the 70s she's uh she has access to the fairies gurgi and the black cauldron itself the the horn king's power so her abilities could be drawn from that she had she had evil power. No, she didn't. But she in the movie they're trying to stop this thing. Sure. And I'm saying that she could mm. could ha- be in possession of that in order to utilize it in this fighting scenario. Mm. Okay. That's just 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 a way to get it. I'm trying to figure out a way to get another uh, princess or a if like yeah. I think Mulan with a freaking samurai sword is awesome. Like sure. <laughs> I'm all about that. She's got freaking uh, Mushu and Lucky Cricket with her. Uh huh. She's that's an awesome as fighter. well as her her uh, I don't remember any of their names the the fighting compatriots yeah I, I'll I'll totally put Mulan as a character in here Lucky Cricket um back to the dwarves though I think the dwarves just as as a fighter works as, I'm, now I'm trying to think we've just added seven characters to the story but that's that's fine no, we're just thinking no, about the they're, game they're one character I'm just mean then thus adapting it into film logic. Right, because the idea is to come up with a game with a story good enough that can be adapted into a film. If the dwarves get transported over, they're an entire group of characters themselves. I'm not complaining about. It. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just piecing well, the puzzles. I guess I've, I've grouped a number of characters. I, I mean, uh, at, okay, okay. Uh, just brainstorming now. We do have twelve. Like oh. what we've just done. Cool. We've we've come up twelve. I'm gonna list them real quick, and we gotta take a break real quick. But uh, from just just this this brainstorm session we just did coming sure. up with fighters, 
Mickey, Elsa, Dr. Facilier, Jasmine, Ursula, Gaston's still on this list, Mowgli, Robin Hood, Peter Pan, Queen of Hearts, Seven Dwarfs, Mulan. Um, I think we could probably cut and replace some of these characters here. I think Jasmine should go back to Aladdin. And now, okay. Okay. I hate to no? see her go. Well, let's let's think on oh, that for a okay. second. Okay. Let's take a quick break here. We'll be right back with more of this. Sure. Brain this is interesting. This is this is cool. Anyway, we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Game Dev Hideout. My name is Daniel and I am excited to introduce our new 6-5 show. Joining me is my co-host Chris as we drop down the ladder and give you a look into the indie game development community. We'll introduce you to lots of cool game developers, pixel artists, musicians, and other members of the indie dev community. We hope you'll climb on up and check out some games. Okay, so here we are. We're back again. Um, What I'm finding fascinating about all this is this is... The way we're brainstorming this, like we have our con- our basic our plot, our basic plot. Cernobog went, didn't go to sleep, and he's a bad guy, and his mountain is mm-hmm. evil, and they're fighting their way up the mountain to get the. Well, this, this is this is the one day a year that he rises. Yeah. Or the one night, the one yeah. night a year he rises, and all of these fights are happening. Yeah. On this same night. Okay, I I my suggestion was that because he didn't go to sleep. Oh. He is now a, an ongoing threat, so we need to either stop him or control him. That's mm. that's the difference about why, because otherwise you just wait till the sun comes up and he goes away. Something changed. Well, no, but that, well, okay. I guess to, to me that that that's the contention. At sun up, he's going to go away. So I, I guess I guess the uh, then the heroes have no reason to fight because they'll just go away. No, they do because they need to stop the villains oh, from okay. acquiring his power. Okay. Now, technically, yes, that means if you choose to play. Uh, 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 Elsa, mm-hmm. and you fight to the end, and you get to Cernabog. Technically, you've won. You just have to. Wait. You don't have to. You don't yeah. have to beat him. Wait till the sun comes. But up. it's a fighting game, so you're going to fight him. <laughs> I would. I think that there's something to. There's a difference here. He's not going to sleep. Okay, then. Then uh, let me suggest a minor change. Okay. To this. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, although it it does sort of just turn him into. Just another character he's not the big boss um it's uh the second star to the right or the the is it second star yeah. to the right straight on has the fallen it's mm. fallen to earth mm-hmm. shooting star yep. and so that's the power that's the thing that they're they're trying to you know put put those things together the the star falling is what didn't like cernabog isn't going to sleep so cernabog has it yeah that's okay. what that is. Sure. That is the the MacGuffin. He has the second star to the right, and he's okay. not going to bed. And he's amassing more and more power. And the good guys get the star to put him to bed, put the star back in the sky to put him to bed. And the bad guys are get that star to control him, and then or he's, just to have their own, have the power right. for themselves. Sure. So they're yeah. di- one or the other. Yeah. Perfect. I love that. Okay. I think that's there. We go. So now. I, I listened to our heroes before we, we took the break there. Um, um, yeah, I, I know uh, uh, you had you had said you wanted a, a and I agree, uh, uh, not having them all be dudes. Mm-hmm. Um, we got some. Uh, that's why I was like, oh, keep Jasmine as opposed to Aladdin. How uh, uh, how many women do we have? Uh, Elsa, Jasmine, Ursula, Queen of Hearts, Mulan. So five. Okay. Five of um, twelve right now. Now, uh, Gaston is still on here. Robin Hood and Peter Pan are on here. While I think those are all great, I think they are. There's, we could cut them and replace them. There are other characters. Sure. Like honestly, there's a thousand characters we could put on this list. But mm-hmm. uh, there is something to be said that our that we went here in our brainstorm. Sure. The ones that rose to well, the top here. And uh, yes, uh, and and to that end, I, I I want I would want to find the characters that feel. I, I that that feel the most iconic. Like when when you look at the selection of characters, I don't 
I, I don't think the player should ever go, oh, why that character? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, why not this character? Mm-hmm. Like Aladdin, of all the characters to choose from Aladdin, why wouldn't you choose the title character? Because Jasmine is so pretty. <laughs> she sure is. <laughs> uh, yeah, why why Jasmine rather than Aladdin? Mm-hmm. Um, she, I, I think she's just as iconic. Her outfit... Like her attitude, she she proves herself capable when she's out, and he's like, "Oh, you grab the stick and you girl across the roof," and she means, "You mean like this?" And she just does it herself. Uh, she's the one who tricks Jafar in the end to allow Aladdin to get to the lamp. So she's she's a very active. Uh, she's a character with agency, and she's sharp and witty, and has proven herself a fighter. Uh, I think I, I would make an argument to keep Jasmine over Aladdin. Because I think Aladdin is a, a bit more of an obvious choice. Mm, okay. I'm I'm fighting for Jasmine. Sure. But I, initially, I was the first one who pitched Aladdin anyway. Yeah. So it's, I, um, I will admit that. Okay. I, I think that she's... And she comes with some cool character traits. Like, you're right. We shouldn't have any character in here that people would be like, I'm never going to play... I'm not going to play that character. But I also, I also to that same end, like I wouldn't want to give, I don't remember, I also already don't remember the name of the character from Black Cauldron. I wouldn't want to give her one. horned king powers. I don't want anyone to have any ability where you'd be like, well, wait, why do they have that? What contrived reason sure, did, sure, sure. did we need to make up to give them a, a, an ability? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just, honestly, because that is such a, a – Unfortunately, a culty movie. It's not. A, it's not yeah. enough. Even though we're drawn from some like odd, kind of odd choices here, we are cream of the crop. <laughs> <laughs> and pulling from the Black Cauldron, despite the fandom it does have, and how. And I do think, if we were, if the demand sure. was like, no, no, you got to pick some C-listers, we could totally make her work and, and sure. make her a cool ass character. But for the sake of this first edition of game. Mm-hmm. You're right. We shouldn't Gotta draw go from the like the the most iconic, or at least iconic. Yeah. yeah, like Mickey as the first choice was probably the right way to go. Yeah, and giving him like the most fun char- character traits mm-hmm. makes him a fun playable character. Yeah, yeah. He um, transforms. Yeah, Elsa as our ice power character, like Doctor Facilier. I think yeah, that's a that's a lower tier character. But the fact that he draws like I think he, friends I from think the he other also, side, he would also animate and play, like like move around. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, jumping around as this this skinny guy in this suit and top hat and weird demon the colors an- glowing around him and stuff. He's got the voodoo, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, just as a trivial fact, uh, Doctor Facilier's animation style was designed after Captain Hook, very gangly, oh, nice. long, spindly armed. Uh, they drew inspiration from how. Hook moved mm. in order to craft Dr. Facilier. Nice. Um, and someone who would be interested in the second star of the right. Yep. Uh, because second star of the right is the MacGuffin now, um, is Peter Pan the character we should have in here? As opposed to? Well, I have Peter Pan and Robin Hood. I like them both. Um, if if like, having bet- an anthropomorphic the- character like Robin Hood. Between the two, it should be Peter oh. Pan because it relates to the plot. Then I want to replace Robin, Robin Hood, if we have to keep one or the other. Um, it's Judy Hopps from Zootopia. She's a cop. She's so a rabbit with a gun. Okay. It, I'm just trying to think. I, of I, another. So there's a number. Of, uh, I have not seen it. Mm-hmm. So that's that's why I, I defer entirely to Judy Hopps. Has a huge disgusting fan base online. Okay. <laughs> Being honest. <laughs> Uh, I just like the idea of having some anthropomorphic characters like Robin Hood and Mickey getting another one in there like Judy Hopps as a character. I Like, I look at Gaston. He's using guns, knives, and his muscles. Or he'd just be a big big old punchy guy yeah. most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Um, I would... Judy Hopps is a cop. She's like an active he- like character. She, she is... Sure. You know, I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> Um, do you, what do you think about keeping Robin Hood in as well, though? Arrows, swords, I'm, uh, all uh, uh, sure. I'm uh, all all the characters you want to have in there. Sure, uh, twelve was just my initial thought, and then even uh, having it be even good guys versus bad guys. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Actually, good, good, bad, good. 
bad, bad, good, 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 bad, good, good. More good than bad. It's not an even split right now. It, I really think it probably should be. Oh, funny enough, I, well, intentional or not, keeping Peter Pan in, that is mm-hmm. second star of the right, and Mickey for Cernabog with the Sorcerer's Apprentice, we've kept both our villain and our MacGuffin have a counterpart. So Cernabog's counterpart is Mickey. Sure. Um, we didn't put Hook in. Well, no, we did not. But second star to the right would be the Peter Pan connection. Sure. I know, obviously, that's not a playable yeah. villain or what have you. Um, uh, but, okay, so you think we should even it up? Um, yeah. Good guys and bad guys? Yeah. I don't I, I don't think a fighting game would be as much fun if it's mostly good guys. Mostly good guys. So let's, let me just... Maybe I'm wrong on it. Maybe everyone just here. wants to see good guys tussle. <laughs> but I, I actually think it's the reverse. I think you, uh, you probably almost, if you want to lean one way or another, you should lean toward more bad guys. Well, we have nine heroes right now, and of that nine is the seven dwarfs. Well, three gotta go. Three gotta go, or we add add three. Or or we add three. Yeah, have eighteen fighters. Yeah. Is that too many characters for, for never fighting? too never too many fighters? It's true. If Marvel vs. Capcom's got like fifty playable characters, yeah. um, okay. Well, let's 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 rewind it. Well, like, and also, they don't all have to be uh, uh, starting characters. The unlockables, sure. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's let's go our one for one here. So Mickey. Okay, Mickey's counterpart is Cernabog. So we don't unless you think Peg Leg Pete or no. Okay. Then Mickey's counterpart is the big villain. Sure. So then we do have. Then we can go six and six. Okay. So or however many like we can even it up. So Elsa comes from the Renaissance era, second Renaissance era. So does Doctor Facilier. So we have mm-hmm. ice powers and voodoo magic. Um, from the original Renaissance, we have Jasmine, and then Ursula and or Gaston. So should we add another hero from the? Uh, Renaissance era, or should we cut Ursula or Gaston? Thinking noises. Uh, yeah, thinking Beer, noises. scratches. Um, <laughs> cut Gaston. Cut Gaston. Okay. Oh, I really like the. I, I'm not. Well, then, then we add someone. We add uh, Basil, <laughs> the Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> I was gonna say Beast or Aladdin. Um, oh, Beast. Could actually add, add Simba. Beast? Uh, oh, Simba's not bad. Simba as a, what do you think? As a, does Simba work in a fighting game? Like, could a, could a lion sure. character beaten up? Yeah, why wouldn't they? Or what about Rafiki? He's got that staff. I don't think, I think, I would look at that list and go Rafiki. Okay, but if it's Simba, then you have, you can draw, like, he's scratching, brawling, Mm-hmm. Attack and pounce, and, and you can have Timon He's, and Pumbaa. Yeah, Rafiki's a playable like magic, like a, a what? an attack spell. Like, sure. like Rafiki yeah. coming in, going. Whoosh. Sure. Um. Scratching yeah. and pouncing. Okay, I like Simba as a playable character. That's good. Cool. Or Nala, if you want, if we want another female. Okay, we'll go Simba. Jim, Shake, Jim shaking my head, head, no. J- shaking head noise. <laughs> the, uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. you know what? Since Okay, so then if we go... I'm actually going to cut Judy Hopps as one of my suggested characters. Okay. Um, so Robin Hood, uh, so from the 70s, Robin Hood and Peter Pan. Um, Captain Hook, mm-hmm. so we have a sword fighter. Sure. Um, he can have fire cannons. And the sheriff in Nottingham is that all, oh, would also be a funny fighter. Too. And he's an fun, anthropomorphic character. Yeah. Oh, and he like hitching up his belt as he's mm-hmm. like, oh, here we gonna go here, Robin Hood. Mm-hmm. I like the sheriff in Nottingham as a character because he he would be a sword fighter as well. Is that too too many sword fighters with Hook? No. Peter and Sheriff Nottingham. Um, no. I mean, remember, like I know you, uh, uh, you you're like you you've you've. Uh, uh, noted magic powers and stuff, and that would be a, a a part of the character, and it would it would it would likely signify this is more of a ranged character. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is it's a fighter. All all of these characters are going to have punches and kicks. This isn't isn't a ranged combat game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, some will just have a few more hadoukens than others. <laughs> yeah, that, that's all. 
Um, okay. So, uh, of the second Renaissance era, like Elsa, what's a counter to her? Oh, Dr. That was the Oh, that was Dr. Yeah. Facilier. Sorry, I, like, deleted it on accident. Um, Jasmine and Ursula. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Gaston and Simba. That's a fun one. That's such a fun matchup. <laughs> Simba. Dun, 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 dun. Making notes. I'm sorry. This is not compelling. No, sorry. Audio. Yeah. That, uh, 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 I, I forgot for a second that we were on a podcast. As you were, <laughs> uh, making uh, so notes. Mowgli. Oh, I forgot. Mowgli's also from like the 60s era. So we have uh, Sheriff of Nottingham to Robin Hood. He would be. That's an interesting. We can, we can cut Mowgli. That uh, uh, like. Like I I like the idea of of someone whose whose moves are like a lot of summons, but we don't have to have him in there. I don't mind. Let's I'm gonna leave it blank for now. Oh, you know what? Let's keep him in there because we have Queen of Hearts. I know okay. they they're not like contemporaries of each other, but they the relatively same enough era. So we're talking. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. So then, Peter Pan and Captain Hook. So now seven dwarfs. We're talking. <laughs> movie one. What's a what's a counterpoint for Seven Dwarfs as a playable character? What's the villain? Uh, uh, like, did, with the characters we have listed, everyone everyone's paired off. Not yet. The oh. only two left that we have that aren't paired off are Mulan and the Seven Dwarfs. Oh, we've we've paired off everybody else. Um. Well, uh, the, the 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 witch from Snow White. Would be a, a a fun villain throwing throwing poison apples, <laughs> uh, <laughs> giving out weird little kicks from from under her robe, uh, uh, swinging out with, with a scratching attacks. Um, but otherwise, well, she does use transmogrification magic. Like she mutates herself to look like an old hag. Yeah, but she's a beautiful woman. Uh, before she does that to herself, so she she has magic. Sure. Is she another magic user? I'm thinking about them as as fighters. Sure. Uh, and and like the 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 moves that they would have. If if all of their moves are just magic spells, mm-hmm. as long as those magic spells can be turned into melee attacks of some kind. Sure. Um, well, let's. I mean, because she could actually oh. have the mirror could be I think uh, it... uh, uh, a a part of her fighting retinue. Okay, so this is this, uh, this is going to be a little uh, canon fan fictiony uh, fan theory here. Okay, uh, drawn from that era, there's another villain. In fact, uh, AFI once voted this the number three villain of all time mm. after Darth Vader and Hannibal Lecter. It's the Hunter from Bambi. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Now fan fan canon. Uh huh. The Hunter from Bambi could very well be Gaston. Sure. Because. The right one, all be. that, because yeah. it could be. So, uh, so we could get Gaston back in here as the hunter. So the the counterpoint to the seven dwarfs doesn't have to be the, the witch. It's Gaston as or the hunter. Uh, the idea the idea of having counterparts from eras was to have representation from each of the major eras. Sure. Um, we don't have to stick to that. It mm-hmm. was just the initial idea, and, and from apparently there are a couple dark ages that we're not necessarily representing. Sure, yeah. um, and that's that's fine. If if uh, if Gaston is the counterpart to the dwarves, <laughs> I think that's okay. I'm making a I'm making an argument for Gaston, ladies and gentlemen. Any objections? All right, <laughs> <laughs> guns, knives, and muscles. <laughs> uh, cool. So then the last character to counterpoint someone with is Mulan. So we have our katana. She's got Mushu. She's got Lucky Cricket. Um, she's and we, got. A, and we don't. We don't have a. We don't have a counterpart for her. What what characters are not paired up yet? Just Mulan. Just Mulan. Everyone else has has a pair. Okay. So we have um, we have we have eight. Uh, we have seven playable good guys and, or sorry, eight playable good guys right now and seven playable bad guys. So trying to think of villains from that era, mm-hmm. I don't uh, uh, Hades. That might actually be oh, the best one. That's yeah. Uh, otherwise, yeah. there's the hunter guy from Tarzan uh-huh. and the village guy from Pocahontas. Um, I think Hades is the right choice. Okay. I think that is the right choice because um, he's got. So we're looking like magic user wise. 
Dr. Facilier. Ursula's got some melee. Um, yeah, I think it's Hades, ladies and gentlemen. Hades as our final villain. And he would be someone who would definitely... Or the, the priest guy from Hunchback. <laughs> actually, actually, Hunchback would make it a pretty good fighter. Oh, um, uh, Quasimodo himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, here here is our our, our 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 playable game here. I'm gonna check the how long we've been recording here. Um, Mickey, Elsa, Jasmine, Simba, Mowgli, Robin Hood, Peter Pan, the Seven Dwarfs, and Mulan, and then Doctor Facilier, uh, Facilier, Ursula, Gaston, Queen of Hearts, Sheriff of Nottingham, Captain Hook. Oh, I'm sure someone listening pointed out that I already did Gaston. <laughs> Gaston is the matchup to Simba, uh, and Hades for magic. So technically, we are short one for a matchup to... I was so excited. Yeah. It was literally above on the list here. Yeah. You already have Gaston. You're screaming at me from your rate, from your... Uh, from their own spreadsheet. From your own spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's let's rewind again here. So Seven Dwarfs era. Hmm. Okay. I... St- no, if that's the only... So then we'll, we'll be seven and seven. We, I think we just take a character out. Okay. We can take the seven dwarves out. Goodbye, seven now, dwarfs. that being said, hearing that list back, mm-hmm. the ones... Uh, two of them stood out to me. Okay. As why those choices. Mowgli mm-hmm. seemed like a an odd choice. Um, but uh, 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 a fighter can justify themselves in gameplay. Like... Oh no, Mowgli's Mowgli's oh, freaking cool. Oh man, he's got Baloo, yeah. Shere Khan, the wolves, Bagheera, like yeah. ugh, animal powers. Yeah. Okay, what was the other one that jumped um, out? I kind of want to say Jasmine. I like still... you, you think Disney, like oh, what character from Aladdin is in this game? Is it Aladdin? Is it the genie? Is it Jafar? <laughs> Jasmine. It's Jasmine. Look, okay. Oh, okay. She has a she has a tiger. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess she can use. The, I, the the flying carpet and I'm genuinely trying to get another girl in the in, on the playlist is why she's there. To be fair, even if we took her out, we still have more female representation in our in this game than, than the, original, the other fighters. Than the original, I think the only other fighting game, the only other starting fighting game that had more females was Dead or Alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me let me take a moment here, if. If we cut Jasmine and put Aladdin, I think, I don't know, I think Moana added in as a playable. Replacing who? No, not they're just adding her in. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to. Oh, s- that's, I'm, again, I'm fine adding more characters. We haven't added Rapunzel. I really like, uh, I'm, I'm imagining her, her attacks and they're a lot of fun with the, the, the hair in the frying pan. Yeah. Hmm. Let's let's do this right now. Let's let's leave the list as is. Like we could certainly we'll we'll continue on once the episode wraps up here of okay. like other characters and we'll we'll put it into sure. to patron territory here. Looking at this list, Mickey, Elsa, Jasmine, Simba, Mowgli, Robin Hood, Peter Pan, Mulan. Those are the heroes that are like, we need to get that star and we're gonna fight our way to the top of this mountain mm-hmm. to, to stop Cernabog. Facilier Facilier Ursula, Gaston, Queen of Hearts, Sheriff of Nottingham, Captain Hook, Hades. These are villains who are like, I'm going to get to the top of the mountain. I think that all works within the scenario we've created. Translating that to a film. Now, granted, the, the full demand wasn't that we have to also conceptualize a film. Oh, okay. We just have to oh, conceptualize why, I don't know. Why, why did I think that was a part of it? Because the demand is come up with a story that could oh. make a successful film. Gotcha. So we don't have to sit here and start beating out the story beats for the film, particularly because we, we only are, got a couple we are, minutes. We are we are we're, we're verging. Over. We're we're not over. We're not oh, over. Okay. I just you know, in an effort to always stand or two hours. Sure. I'm just being aware of the time. All these characters I think have some unique fighting qualities to them. And playing to that story narrative. Mm-hmm. Um I think in the Justice League versus Mortal Kombat game you play yeah. two scenarios in injustice uh, so one of the unique things about uh injustice is that uh, uh the story would change depending on who you played and who you beat right and and i, I know similarly with mortal Kombat versus justice league like if you play the mortal Kombat side of the game 
Oh, I didn't know that. The the Justice League characters are encroaching, and if you are the Justice League side, it's the Mortal Kombat characters that are encroaching. Well, like, there's two neat. different narratives. Um, because if you're playing this fighting game, you you Jim could pick Mickey and I could pick Peter Pan, and we're just gonna mm-hmm. we're gonna fight. fight it out. Yeah, that's just fight mode. That's tournament mode. Sure. Story okay. mode, it would be more like Injustice or. Some of uh, like Mortal Kombat versus so, Justice League, where there's a narrative. You okay? This uh, this level, you are playing Simba, and you have to fight Gaston. So, uh, essentially, you're you're talking yeah, you're talking about story mode. And the story mode I'm most familiar with is uh, one night I stayed up and I played every every character to see everyone's story for Street Fighter Two Alpha. Okay, <laughs> and. Um, you didn't fight everyone. You fought you fought a, a, a specific selection of characters to to play out their story. Mm-hmm. To I think play Mortal out the Kombat, character you chose as story. Mortal Kombat had similar, where there's and a specific so, story mode. Um, even even if it's just choose one character, fight all of the uh, opposing side, mm-hmm. uh, and then the final boss. That's still what that's because we now have more than a dozen characters. There's eight. Uh, sorry, eight. Sixteen total. Sixteen total. Okay. Cernobog's are f- so there's fifteen playable characters. Cernobog's the final boss. Fifteen. One, two. Three. Someone doesn't have a counterpart. No, Cernobog isn't a playable character. Mickey's counterpart is the big boss. Oh. So there's eight playable heroes and seven playable villains. Well, that was not my intention. My intention was counterparts, uh, playable counterparts. Um. Also, that means also mean, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, 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 so you have nine, nine fights basically, right? For for any storyline you choose, without having to fight, without another good guy having to fight another good guy, or a bad guy fighting a bad guy, right? Um, bad guys would totally fight bad guys, <laughs> um, so that's fine. But the good guys don't have to fight the good guys in their story mode, right? Although you could definitely come up with reasons why they might cross blades, right? Like, just, like, get out of my way. Like, Peter yeah. Pan's not exactly, like, a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, true. Actually, it's... actually, come to think of it, that actually tracks. Because yeah. it's his star. He's mm-hmm. there to get it. He would be in the way. Like, yeah. halfway through the, the story mode, you have to fight Peter Pan. Sure. And if you are Peter Pan, you have to fight Shadow. You have to fight everyone. <laughs> you have to fight Shadow Pan. Oh, sure. Which... Plays to mirror, the mirror match, mir- yeah. Like that, there's a the mirror match of Peter Pan works perfectly. Mm-hmm. So in the story mode, even if you play Peter Pan, you have to fight Peter Pan. Sure. At some point. Yeah, that's fun. Cool. All right. What's the level where actually they... I would make that that would be his second to last fight, is his shadow decides to go rogue and wants the star for itself. For himself? And yeah. So that's why you have to beat your shadow. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, so what's the level where they blow like beat up a car? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a car; it's a carriage. It's a carriage. It's the pumpkin. Yeah, it's the pumpkin from yeah. Cinderella. The the blue the blue fa- the fairy godmother shows up. Yep. magic's a pumpkin, and you have ninety seconds to beat it to crap. Yep. And then and then when you when you're done, the the fairy godmother comes out and cries. She's like, "Oh, my carriage." <laughs> I, I think I'm mixing that up. Like, I always reference that. I'm pretty sure that's from Final Fight. Because they, they also have a bonus level where you beat up a car. Beat up a car, yeah. And then at the end, yeah, it's Final Fight. And at the end of, at the end of that round, one of the, the, just the <laughs> random dudes you, you beat up a whole bunch, bunch of versions of mm-hmm. comes out and he drops to his knees and he goes, oh, my car, and starts crying. <laughs> so, fairy guy mother, oh, my, my carriage. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, okay. Um, I, I, I like that that Peter Pan. God, this element. is awakening something. I used to make. I used to design uh, video games like this, and I've designed several fighting games. Like listed the fighters, mm-hmm, put mm-hmm. Uh, described their 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 list of moves and stuff for all different <laughs> different IP. I've done it for like weird tabletop games no one else knows. It's like, <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna have this. Um, I. Like seriously, we we have so much we can continue to talk about here. Like other playable characters, like Rapunzel mm-hmm. having a Darth Vader unlockable fights, like sure. moving into the other Disney properties, mm-hmm. uh, and and again, and, and, and I didn't even mean unlockable by like the 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 live actions that are off off list. Like technically, well, we didn't do any uh, Pixar. Stuff. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So like having oh Sully, guess. Sully and Mike. Oh God! Imagine a move where where Sully throws Mike. Mike boing. <laughs> Uh, syndrome, like doing oh, sure. his like omega beam at people, mm-hmm. and um, 
Yeah, we didn't we didn't even touch the 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 Pixar characters. Uh, but as a as a first edition. Oh no! Is McQueen the car that you beat up? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's crying at the end. Yeah. Oh, oh me. me. <laughs> well, I just want to, like, okay. I'm going to, I'm even, I'm going to move on. I'm going to think of other IPs and, and I'm just going to start daydreaming lists of <laughs> fighters now. Well, let me look at. What have you awoken in me? Finish <laughs> him studios. Clive, Clive, finish him studios. Uh, let me just look at Clive's demand real quick. So demand is this. Take, take the library. Pick any characters you want, craft a story in line with Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, and write a story that could not only be an amazingly kick-ass game, but could then be gloriously adapted into a film or film franchise. Um, and yeah, and we were drawn from the Disney Animation Library, fighting tournament game. I think I see this as side scroller, not not a three hundred sixty degree fighting game. Yeah, I, yeah, like I, I, I like that. That yeah, the 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 two D fighter. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that okay. Well, he said bonus points for two endings. So let's let's wrap this up, this game concept with what are the two oh, ways this ends? Well, th- this is. I mean, technically, we crafted a, a a Killer Instinct type game here where there are sixteen different endings. True, but let's uh, just look at it. If, <laughs> if the heroes win versus if a villain wins. Sure. Okay, so I, obviously, I think if the hero wins, they all victoriously. You you defeat Cernabog in a in hand to hand combat, and the star goes back to the sky. Yeah, and you take the star and send it back to the sky. If a villain wins, do they succeed in taking over the world, or do uh, they still well, if, fail? If it's only one more one, if if it's only one more ending, I guess all of the villains technically fail as Cernabog sees what's happening and is like, nope. Okay, so the 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 villain so doesn't. So even if you get to... beat Cernabog, he still just takes the star and. Well, no. Let's go this way. Like if you look at how Street Fighter, like the the Mortal Kombat with the arcade mode, if you beat it, it would show you just a card that told sure. you what the ending was. Yeah. So it could be like, oh, if Gaston beats Cernabog, it's just a card about how he went back to France and like murdered the beast. Well, and, like... well but that's what I, that's what I mean by like you have an, you have a different ending for for each character. Sure, sure. And, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, that, that, that's what they do in Killer Instinct. Like, they have, like, a story. Like, if you play the robot guy and you win, it tells the story about how the robot makes a bunch more robots, and it's a Terminator future. Okay. Hooray for the robot. So we get we have we have 16-plus different endings. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, okay. That's fine. Or 10, right? One for each villain, and then all the good guys have the same <laughs> ending. Because <laughs> they're good guys. Just just a different animation sequence for yeah. how they return the star. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of like stages as well. Like actually if we go to our main our main cast. Oh yeah, you'd wanna you'd wanna choose a, a, a stage for each of them. So like Mickey's stage could be the uh, I'd go I'd go here's two options for Mickey's stage is the like the background is, is constantly changing, like it's being redrawn or the the buckets of water from the the brooms, like it's the, it's I w- the I rising was, tide. I was thinking the brooms would actually be a sum, uh, like like a move, a move that he does. So I'm just saying, oh yeah, but the background would be like the flood that he's oh, like, oh, sure. that, that's being fended off as he's. Uh, I like the idea of an animation board, like his level. Yeah, that's that's it my looks like thought. you're fighting on an animation board. Yeah. That'd be cool. Okay, uh, Jasmine. Um, like fighting would in be the Agrabah. palace, the palace, the streets of Agrabah where people could cheer. That would be a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, or um, uh, Ursula, like I said, the, the beach or under the sea. Simba. Although, although uh, now now I see what you're saying. Yeah, uh, having in in the in the streets cheer the 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 people cheering. It'd be the most street fighter then, looking level. <laughs> because if it was in the palace, uh, in the palace, her father would be sitting in the background. He's like cheering from yeah. the the throne. Uh, Simba would be Pride Rock, or no, the Elephant um, Graveyard. Elephant Graveyard. Yeah. yeah, there you go. With Pride Rock in the distance, mm-hmm. uh, Gaston would be either be in front of Beast Castle or, or no, on the roof of Beast Castle. Uh, it wouldn't be the village. I think it'd be the village. Oh yeah, because then the Cause villagers because he, he's not him fighting him. the 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 beast. Yeah, so the villagers would be cheering him on. Uh, Mowgli, the jungle. Mm-hmm. Queen of Hearts is the madness of Wonderland. 
Well, it would be her throne room slash the, the garden maze. That would be such a busy... Right? There, there, there would be cards painting the roses in the background. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Robin Hood would be Sherwood Forest and Sheriff of Nottingham. Funny enough, we didn't expand enough on Sheriff of Nottingham when we were discussing him. We just it? said he's in there. He's in it. Yeah. And he's here, too. <laughs> He's certainly a, a, an odd character. I think the trick with him to make him like a character that people would actually want to play is to make... There's got to be something cool about him as a character that makes him... Like, maybe he has, uh, like, backstabbing... Like, whatever his, like, attack is that he, like... His summon or whatever is, like, characters hitting from behind. Like, little weasels coming in and stabbing. Oh, sure. That would that'd be, like, his ranged attack? Yeah. But he's also like, but making him a good like close range sword fighter. Uh, off the top of my head, I'd make him like E Honda. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a bigger guy too, and I like him mm-hmm. hitching up his pants. Mm-hmm. Um, but giving him like oh, like and that's ha- that's a part of his oh. uh, walking animation. And he can throw like bags of gold, like bag bags of gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Like using them like nunchucks. He's like <laughs> clank clank clank. <laughs> uh, Peter Pan. So, I mean, flying in, like on a ship or in in Neverland somewhere, like the mermaids cheering him on, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and Captain Hook and it got his ship. Uh, Mulan would be somewhere in the battlefield, so all of her like, I, it's funny like cause a lot of these do elicit who's well, cheering in the background. Sure, uh, uh, I I think her level would either be on the coconut ship or on Maui's island. No, uh, that's oh Mulan. 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 Ah, sorry, not Moana. not Moana. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I would be like in the snow or in the burning village. Sure. Yeah. And then Hades. Oh, M- Mulan's. Uh, yeah, actually, it could be on the 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 battlefield, mm-hmm. like with all the the Mongols and Chinese warriors fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Hades would be the underworld. Yeah. Yeah. And having like either the spirits like oh, or his little uh, mm-hmm. pain and, and panic or like. Eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, of all the characters we've made, I just kind of hand waved past uh, Chernobog, Cernobog, Cernobog, Chernobog, Chernobyl, shrinking him down to just be a fighter. Like that. That's the that's the most conceit I think we've we've made. Is oh yeah, the giant, the super giant, mm-hmm. is, a, is just a, a person size for the final battle. Yeah, maybe that's it. Like, yeah, for the final battle, it's like you get him down to fighting size. And then beat him. Um, I think still would what, be what huge. I would do, uh, 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 I think it would be a part of the story contrivance that when he grabs the star, it shrinks him. Okay. Yeah. But he's still at the Turns top of his mountain. Turns him into a fighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah that would be his level is the top of his mountain. But then he's there like with the star as like a pendant on yeah. his chest. You have to fight him. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, Clive, boy, this 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 is a lot. Like this was interesting. This is not the standard episode of come up with a structured movie plot whatnot like this was more about like pick the characters we want to play with Mm -hmm. um but this is fun like i seriously i want to keep talking like i have other character ideas i want to throw out here Mm -hmm. so but want to wrap up the episode here um unless you have more you want to want to say here before we we close it off I know you'll think about that as I say the last yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So. That's sorry. Right. <laughs> I, I do think this will this will be it for this episode. But man, I would love to know. So you listening out there, out there, are you a fighting game fan, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat fan, Smash Brother fan? Like, how did we do? Is this a did, did we check off enough boxes that this could be a kick ass fighting game for you, uh, Clive? Of course, I do want to know if we succeeded in. Well, I want to know if I pronounced your Finnish words terribly or not. <laughs> but is this does this hit? the the mark did we do it for you so hit us up if you agree if you disagree if you think like we surely missed something here and so i definitely want to know what are some of those playable characters that you want to see what are their power-ups like what are their motivations good guys bad guys any era of disney and certainly give us those pixar characters we didn't even touch on whatever Mm -hmm. so you can message us directly at studio demands it.com on twitter Facebook, Instagram, at Studio Demands It. If you're not already, you can subscribe to us on any podcatcher of your choice. And if you feel like giving us a little review, you can do that in your podcast app, and that really helps us get the show out to other ears and out into the algorithm and the multiverse of podcasts out there. So thank you for those who have been leaving five-star reviews. Thank you so much. 
Uh, you can also find us on YouTube, on TikTok, where we are posting video content. You can catch our highlights of our Street Fighter commentary track up on YouTube. Or you can go to Patreon to actually download the whole commentary track to sync up with the movie itself. And, uh, yeah, for just a couple bucks a month, you can go ahead and do that. Massive thank you to 6-5 Media for everything they do for us. Please check out the other 6-5 shows. Jim, you've had time to think. Uh, uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have anything else to say? Uh, just... So what I've been thinking about is trying to somehow, because we didn't, we didn't pull Pinocchio in at all, but I like the idea that the, the star that you wish upon is the uh, oh, second star of the yeah. right. That, that when you wish upon a star is the second star of the right. That's yeah. kind of fun. So, well, I mean, I don't know if you're aware of the, the canon we've created, listeners. Oh, the, uh, I, yeah. I don't know how they would be. I don't know if we ever mentioned it. Okay, well. Or no, we did mention it once. Canon but, that we've created, the blue fairy of Peter Pan, or sorry, of um, Pinocchio is the blue fairy godmother fairy mm-hmm. from Cinderella and also the enchantress from Beauty and the Beast, mm-hmm. who is also uh, a, fa- a magic wielder that takes inanimate objects and turns them into living beings. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, and I also really like that that matches up with uh, the, the tra- tradition of the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Yeah. That, this is, um, it's one character throughout the history of their existence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, yeah, Pinocchio. She is truly the most powerful Disney character. <laughs> Pinocchio as a character, just like using his 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 strings, strings. Like you, you'd and have his... strings, and uh, Jiminy would do something. Boink. Uh, I really don't know what Geppetto could do. Uh, <laughs> He's just cheering from the sidelines. Yeah. Well, that that well that that's. Baba been booed, and that's a my boy. <laughs> so we didn't we didn't talk about any of that stuff. I, I like. For the uh, we didn't talk about how each character would probably have their own their own stage. Oh like, sure, like that doesn't actually affect gameplay, mm-hmm. but it's just the back the backdrop. And so for the dwarves, that's where we would see Snow White. Snow White and her animals would be cheering in the background of, of, the, yeah, of the dwarves. Of the mine that they're probably yeah, yeah. E- either the mine or the the cottage, the, the, cottage, the house. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, maybe like the mine is on the far left, and then the woods, and then on the far right is the cottage, something like or, that. Or we do uh, another thing that Dead or Alive did was if you hit somebody off the stage, oh, yeah. they'd fall to a secondary stage. Yeah. So <laughs> you could go from the cottage, you could knock someone out of it into to the mine. mine. <laughs> well, add that to your tweets and messages, folks. What are some fun stages for these characters to fight in? Hashtag Disney Fighter? Hashtag <laughs> Disney Combat with a K. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Dis- War- Disney fighter, mortal, mortal Disney, Mortal Disney, Street Disney. Street, that no, no. no. <laughs> D- Disney Combat, sure, with a K. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> oh, this game took a turn. <laughs> All right, everybody, that'll do it for this episode. We will be back again soon with another one of your demands, and maybe we'll do another game in the future. But this is this is cool. So yeah, uh, thank you again, Clive. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, Jim. And I am TC. I am Jim. And that is the show, folks.